Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightorama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about formatting and resizing props in the Lightorama Preview Editor. Once you've created the props in your layout, you can clean up your prop shapes and sizes by using the Format drop-down towards the top of the editor or the Bulb and Scale tabs in the lower left corner. The Bulb tab allows you to change the shape, size, and transparency of a prop. Most of the shape options are just for personal preference and won't affect the functionality of your display. But if you have strobes, floods, or snowfall tubes in place of icicle lights, you can select the respective shape to simulate more realistic effects when you sequence. You can change the size or transparency of a prop using these sliders. If you highlight more than one prop using the Shift key on your keyboard, any change you make in this tab will apply to everything you have selected. You can change the height and width of a prop using the options in the Scale tab, or select and drag the red corners of the prop outline. Changes for scale can also be made in bulk simply by selecting multiple props. The Format drop-down menu allows you to resize and format your props in relation to one another, which means you don't have to spend time manually trying to line up sets of props. For example, my four multicolored bushes should all be in a straight line. If I select all four bushes, then go to the Align menu, I can tell the preview editor how the shape should line up. If I select Align Tops, all of the props will align with the topmost prop in the group. If I select Bottom, they'll align with the bottommost prop. The same concept applies for the other options in this menu. The Make Same Size menu allows you to resize your props based on width, height, or both. The props will resize to the smallest prop in the group. The Horizontal and Vertical Spacing options equally divide props between two endpoints. For example, if I highlight all of my floodlights, I can select Horizontal Spacing, then Make Equal and my floodlights will arrange so that the horizontal spacing is equal for each light between my first and eighth flood. If you click Remove in either of these menus, the prop will collapse into a stack with no spacing. The Rotation menu allows you to rotate props 90 degrees at a time to the left or the right, or reset back to zero if you change your mind. You can manually rotate a prop by clicking on it in the Preview Editor and hovering over the red dot connected to the prop by a red line. Once the rotation symbol appears, hold down your mouse and move your cursor to change the rotation of the prop. The last option in this menu is Reset, which will revert the prop to the original settings for when you first created the prop in your preview. At any point during prop creation, you can move the prop by clicking and dragging to a new location in the preview or by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. If you're having trouble seeing your props while you're making formatting edits, use this slider to change the opacity of your background. You can add a background image to your preview by using the third tab option in the lower left. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.